it with me. So this video is going to be the YouTube Community Guide for Dummies. Uh, for Dummies. So if you're not a dummy, click off. Leave, leave now. Okay. So I want to keep this short. Um, I'm going to go to do one to five today and then I'm going to continue another day six to eleven whatever uh, so number one calling out a narc or toxic person on YouTube okay right so I frequented and visited several communities during my time on YouTube and to be honest I should just fucking stay to my own original one in the first place but I didn't uh, I wandered around so don't do it, okay? Don't call out the toxic person or narcissist. Why? I'll break it down. Why? It backfires. That's why, okay? Here's what happened. The narc or the toxic person is over there doing their thing. And while they're over there doing their thing, they are fully aware that they're kicking up some kickback. That's the point. That's ground zero, of the manipulation okay remember that for later remember what I said ground zero of the manipulation they are aware people are going to come and hold them to account ask them what they meant question them kick off whatever they're aware of that they know so don't do it they know okay who at whatever age needs telling that what they're saying is cruel mean outrageous crazy they sound nuts who needs telling nobody is your answer no one don't do it right that is lesson one you don't want to walk into a trap and that is what you're going to be doing okay that's it you're just walking it straight into a trap they're over there with the subs who love them and people that adore them and blah 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 um and that's not enough for them. All this love and admiration and praise and support and encouragement they get, it's never enough. They need the kickback. Don't be the kickback. Don't be the kickback, okay? They want someone to swoop in and call them out and save the day, okay? They love a um, social justice warrior or a white knight riding there on their big white horse because without that person how can they play victim how can they garner sympathy from their audience how can they have someone cheering them on if there's no um bad guy don't be the bad guy okay it's a trick it's a trap don't do it now lesson number two Never defend a soul. Be supportive, just don't defend, okay? By defending somebody, you triangulate yourself into their situation. Their situation. Key words, don't triangulate yourself into nobody's situation. And if the stats are correct, that one in six is a knock, okay? It's more than likely that the person you're rushing in to defend Okay, you're just offering yourself up as a flying monkey. Don't do it. Sit on your hands. You don't need to defend anybody, including yourself. Oh, case in point, how often <laughs> have you seen me needing someone defending me? I'll wait. Okay, well, these people running around constantly needing people to defend them. Red flag, step away. Lesson number three. Understand human beings in their natural form, okay, natural state, mostly in my experience, from being on this planet nearly, well, yeah, over four decades, have flawed or faulty thinking, okay? And the flawed or faulty thinking is thinking things along the lines of, like they've got a mindset, if you will, where they always want to give the benefit of the doubt. They always want to think the best of somebody. It's flawed. 
and faulty thinking. Um, they have this really strong desire to want to think the best of someone, okay? I mean, even if you put a killer in front of them, they will chirp up, oh, but they seem so nice. Oh, but he loves his mum. I rest my case. Then you have another group of people wandering around online, the Toxic Positivity Crew. They're a force to be reckoned with, all on their own. Stay away from them, Pete. Stay away. Stay away. Okay. And if you're one of these Toxic Positivity blaggers, stay away from me. <laughs> Don't do it around me. It's annoying. It's delusional thinking, okay? Bad things happen. Sometimes we don't feel okay. Like, no one needs all this. Oh, but you need to look at all the good things too. And oh, you all need to think this. And you all need to like, you're looking at, you're always looking at things in a dark way. No, it's called being a realist. Keep the toxic positivity away from me. I don't like it. Lesson four. Stop making other people responsible for how you feel about things they say and do. Stop it. Okay? Stay stay away from them. Okay? Us lot in this dummy crew, you know, we need this. We need to learn these things, okay? Then we can avoid all the toxicity and problematic people online in these communities. Uh, where was I up to then? Oh, yeah. So when people are saying, yeah, well, she makes me so mad, or yeah, well, she really pissed me off, or she really upset me, or they upset me, he did this and he upset me, or he's made me angry, or whatever else, right? Nobody... Nobody is making you angry, sad, hurt, or upset. That's your own internal processing button that isn't working correctly, okay? Fix it. Then the rest of us can have some peace. What are we on now? Have I done number four? Yeah, four. Number five. Please don't call other people toxic or narcissists while you exhibit those traits yourself, okay? So if you're mocking people, putting them down, what else? Belittling, using passive aggression, grandstanding, or bragging, and especially humiliating, because I don't like that, and I see it a lot on YouTube. Everybody loves to humiliate somebody. It's narcissistic. So if you're going to be pointing at someone over there, saying, fair or not, fair or not, kind of, you know, smart to not be exhibiting so many narc traits yourself, okay? If, if you've got a narc over there, okay, we all know what a narcissist is. If I over here, me, I am gifted with self-introspection, self-reflection, self-insight, humility, and empathy, okay? I know better, okay? I can look within and see that there's problems with my behavior or issues or things I need to not do. A narcissist, they don't have those gifts. Leave narcissists alone. <laughs> Never thought I'd ever hear myself say that. But just because someone is a narcissist or someone's behaving in a narcissistic way, it doesn't give you full license to go hardcore on them, berate them, mock them, bully them. You know what you're better off doing? leaving them over there in their world and staying far, far, far away from ground zero, okay? And that, that concludes one to five of my lessons for dummies for those of us hanging around in the YouTube communities.